This is another five must-have free apps for Windows PCs. Nickel knows tech. All your tech tips and reviews on deck. Nickel knows tech. Number one channel with the news on check. This is my second video where I cover must-have free apps for Windows PCs. If you'd like to check out the first one, it's right up here. Also, if you like hearing about this type of stuff, smash that like button and subscribe for more. Now the first app I'm going to recommend is called Crystal Disk Info. You can get it at the link in description. Right when you follow the link, you're going to see it. There's some in blue and some in green available for download. The ones in blue are Crystal Disk Info and the ones in green are Crystal Disk Mark. We're going to be using Crystal Disk Info. Crystal Disk Mark is different. It's going to be a bench test and performance test and stress test app. We're going to get information through Crystal Disk Info so we can just check the status of the drive and the health of the drive. So you can pick whichever one you want. These two here are anime themes, but they work exactly the same. Right when you open the app, it's going to show you the drives you have up here. I have my C drive and D drive, which are both SSDs. It's not showing my E drive because that's a RAID array. If you have a RAID array where multiple drives are forming one drive, you'll need to use an enterprise level program. But most of you guys are probably only using regular drives. And whichever one you select here, it's going to show you the status of the drive. This one's at 100%, 99%. And then there's also specific code warnings down here which you can go through. And if any of them are in yellow or red, seriously consider replacing the drive. I made a whole video on checking the health of a drive in much more detail. If you want to check that out, it's right up here. Now the next app is called Quick CPU. You can get the link in description. Right when you follow the link, you're going to have to scroll all the way to the bottom here to get to where you download it. And then if you have a 64-bit system, meaning you have a modern system made in the last 10 years that has at least 4 gigs of RAM, you're most likely on 64. If you're on very dated equipment, which has less than 4 gigs, you're probably on 32, but most people are on 64-bit. So once you download and install it here, it'll open up like this. Now Quick CPU is a power management system that helps you manage the Windows power settings for your CPU and computer. This does not overclock. Let me be very clear. This does not overclock or push your, your CPU beyond the manufacturer's suggested con uh, controls. This is only going to influence the power settings, which you normally would go by clicking the battery icon and you can choose high performance, balance, power saver. Well, this actually lets you create your own power um, plans and tweak them exactly the way you want. So oftentimes you're going to have cores parked. I actually made a whole video on un unparking cores and using quick CPU to tweak out your system. You can check it out up here. But real quick, if you want to get the maximum out of your CPU and you don't have any thermal issues, meaning you're not currently overheating, then go ahead and go ahead and, and set this up. Right here, I have my core parking set to 100, which means I'm not telling any of my cores to go to sleep. I have my frequency scaling. I want to get the maximum rated for my CPU that the manufacturer advertised. Turbo boost, it's going to turbo boost as much as it can, meaning it's going to go higher than the uh, the regular base clock speed, but not higher than what's on the box of the CPU. And it's going to try and do it as much as possible, as long as the system can stay cool. If you want to go through here and just tweak this specifically, you can. If you want to just set this to the maximum and create a power plan, just click this icon up here, and it's going to create a power plan for maximum performance. Boom, done. You've set Windows to run your CPU at the maximum power settings. Regardless of what your manufacturer did, setting the gamer setting or max performance, this is actually going to make it faster than all of those. Now, third app I'm recommend is called ONO Shut Up 10. There's tons of problems with privacy in Windows 10 and 11, and a lot of people are really fed up with that. So ONO Shut Up 10 is a free app which lets you perform a whole lot of professional level tweaks to lock down your operating system as far as privacy and what goes on in the background. I actually did a full video on this in very in-depth. You can check it out up here, but I'm going to cover just the basics. You can get this here at the link in the description. Once you open it up, you're going to see that you have a bunch of settings regarding privacy. Right now, big tech is collecting data on everything you do online and building a profile on you for financial gain, and you don't see a penny of it. Take back your privacy and take back control over your connected life by using a reliable VPN. Unsecure websites and public Wi-Fi are the easiest ways hackers can wreak havoc in your lives. But if you have NordVPN with this military-grade encryption, lightning-fast speed, and over 5,000 servers worldwide, you can browse safely and privately. NordVPN also has state-of-the-art, dedicated peer-to-peer -peer servers to protect your usage from your ISP, as well as Big Brother and with the advanced obfuscation servers, you can access blocked websites or even streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, and more anywhere in the world. NordVPN has a strict no-logs policy and has never and will never be pressured by governments. Take back your privacy today and use my exclusive link in the description to get a huge discount on NordVPN. Stay safe. For example, if you're really paranoid about 
malware or apps using your webcam without permission, you can disable app access to camera on this device. So if you disable that, yes, you're locked down. However, your Zoom call is probably going to be not working with video. Um, and you can go through here, you can disable telemetry to where Windows can't send data about your usage to Microsoft for whatever they're doing that. I mean, they say it's perfectly innocent, but if you don't want to mess with that, you can go ahead and disable telemetry. But if you don't know much about computers or you don't want to mess with all this and you just want to make this have the best privacy without uh, making something not work, just go up here to Actions and then click Apply Only Recommended Settings. This will make your computer as private as possible without disabling any features. Now, if you go to apply recommended and somewhat recommended settings, this is going to block a couple of things. Probably the weather app won't be able to communicate with the server. A um, couple other things that communicate in the background will be blocked, but your computer's still going to function mostly the same. Now, apply all settings as if you have a full tinfoil hat problem, you're really paranoid, you need to not let your computer talk to anything without your permission. That's going to really lock it down and you're really going to have only basic internet access. Your browsers will work and things like that, but don't be surprised if some multiplayer game can't talk out or you might have to experiment with that. But the apply only recommended settings will work for every everybody and that won't make anything stop working. It's just going to make it significantly more private than Windows stock. Now the fourth app I'm going to recommend is called WizTree. You can get it right here from DiscAnalyzer.com. And when you open it up, what WizTree is, is a much more detailed, user-friendly version of File Explorer so that you can actually see what's using all the space on your drives. For example, here on the left, I can check all of my C drive, see what's going on in my user directory. I see right here in Allocated, I have 329 gigabytes of use there. And if I look over here, I see that 97 gigabytes of it is MKV video files because I record in MKV. So I can go through all here. I also have some charts down here that can give me a visual image. I can also select which disk I want to check out. And it's going to analyze literally everything that's taken up space. For example, I have one terabyte of games here, YouTube work, 149. So I get a much more detailed look on how to manage the space on my drives. Now the fifth app I recommend is called Notepad++. I know you tech savvy viewers already know about this one, but a lot of people don't. You see, when you open up regular Notepad, I mean, it's just it, all it is is blah. I mean, nothing's ever properly formatted when you edit a text file. Um, you're having to mess with word wrap and there's no notations. But Notepad++, everything has numbers. You can and you can check the different encodings. You can actually edit some files with it. You can edit batch files. You can practically open and edit pretty much anything that's not locked. I mean, mind you, some things are encrypted like exe files, but even when you open up an NFO file or text files, everything's properly formatted. It's just overall a better notepad and it's free. Congratulations on making it to the end of the video. Tell me about it in the comment section, what are your favorite apps to put on Windows PCs? I'd love to hear about it. Hope you found this video helpful. If you like it, please click like and consider subscribing. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram and I'll see you next time.